Welcome to our second video showcasing PowerShell. Today we are going to create something useful to all the stock traders out there who want to spend less time in front of the screen repeatedly pushing F5 to get the latest price quote and maybe more time reading a book and really getting to know your companies. Well, for this video, I'm going to use Google Finance. But there is nothing stopping you from using the same ideas used here on competitors like Yahoo Finance or others. So we want to write a script that can check the price of a stock without us doing any manual labor. And we want to be notified when the price goes above or drops below a certain price. The first thing we need to do is analyze the web page we intend to pass. More specifically, we want to find out if there is a clear structure with IDs in the HTML that we can use to make it easier to parse the information and extract the thing we want with an easy query. Well. To have a look at this, simply right click on the text you want to extract and choose Inspect Document or Inspectera, as can be seen here with my Swedish menu. And then we will see the structure. And uh, if we have a, look, have a look here at the structure, we will see that the text we want is in this span, and the closest ID is in this element, but I don't really trust this ID to remain the same when parsing several times. So I'm going to try to find the first one which will remain the same. And I, I think this one is going to do the trick for us. So before doing the code, I'm just going to write this down. So I know when making a request to get this web page, I'm going to parse and find the element with the price panel ID. So let's get to the code. So let's start by dissecting the main function. The main function is pretty much just a bunch of arguments and a commandlet call. Why don't you think about what the point of these arguments are while I press F5 and show you what happens when I run this program. The company fingerprint stock is now priced at above 438 Swedish kronor. Sell everything now or live with eternal regret. The company fingerprint stock is now priced at above 438 Swedish kronor. Sell everything now or live with eternal regret. So what you probably noticed there is from the get-go, we have the alarm message read for us. And it told us that the current stock price of fingerprint was above the price limit, which definitely is the case if we look at this number and compare it to what our price limit was. And the time that was between the readings of the alarm was five seconds. Well then, let's have a look at what's actually happening inside this commandlet. Uh, let's begin with activate Google Finance Parse Alarm. So what might strike you as the odd thing at first is we're using this type system speech. And uh, when I was designing this commandlet, I first thought that I might just send me an alarm in the form of a text message. but after going around, I found that you can easily import this speech synthesizer assembly, and it, it's really fun <laughs> trying to use different voices and just sending out random text. So for me, I, I'm going to use this one. Uh, and what's happening inside this command is that we're going to activate an infinite loop. And what it does is it will get us the price to the price variable of our company, and it will then compare it to the price limit. And if we have passed in that we want to check if it's above, we go here and check if it's greater than, and then we will have the alarm message read to us. Uh, and if we passed in above as false, we will simply have the program check if the price is lower than the price limit instead. And at the end of the loop, we're simply going to pause the program for the update interval amount of seconds, and then it's going to do the whole thing over again. And it's going to continue doing that until we press the stop button right up here. Well, that's all in that function. Let's go up to the last one. So up in this one is where a lot of the magic happens because we're using a command that's called invoke web request. And this is a really great command that when you're trying to simply talk to websites and act as if you're a browser with code. 
And you can do a lot of stuff with this one, but for this video, all you really need to know is if you want the HTML of a website, just use this commandlet and pass the argument of the URL. And then what I do is I extract the price as in this string right here by doing some splitting action on the price panel element. And it turns out that by simply splitting on the white space and selecting the first element of the resulting array, I will get what I want from the web page. Well, we're now going through all of the commandlets. And, uh, and if you're interested in do designing tools like this, I would first advise you to simply click on the paste bin, try using the code for yourself, change the comp company code, the limit, have fun with the alarm message, and if uh, any questions arise in your mind, just, just let me know. Send me a comment or something.